Hi guys! So we are in Helsinki, Finland today with Lauri. How are you? Very good, thank you. How's it going? Good morning. Everything? How's your day? Day has been good. We had band rehearsals okay. early in the morning. We went 9.30 already. It's funny, we go like really early to play rock. And yeah. we, we call ourselves the office band. Because it's why, like office hours. Yeah, that's <laughs> why you drink like super black coffee. <laughs> yes. So currently you have a lot of stuff going on. The book, the album, the tour, everything. But let's start with your vision. How was it? It was incredible. We really enjoyed the Eurovision ride. It was just the perfect timing when that happened. Yeah. Like uh, we had a new guitarist, Empu, joined us okay. just um, just two months before. We we took part of the the UMK, which is the Finnish Nationals, and this experience together in the new lineup was very important. You know, it yeah. made us bond really strongly, and. Uh, it was kind of a long process, you know, it all together took like six months yeah. from the beginning to Italy finally at the finals and uh, there was many good moments there and I think uh, I got really creative during that time, I wrote many songs and that's always the best thing for me. Yeah, I bet. I, I think like as a musician, this whole pandemic thing was really hard when you couldn't have tours or do much, everything was virtual. So. How did you think this impacted you, in a way? Well, that that certainly was hard. You know, uh, COVID, you know, started when we were supposed to start recording the album. All right. So we, we had to work uh, remotely from different countries because we live in different countries. I live in Hawaii, Eero lives in Australia, okay. the guys lived in Finland, so we're trying to work the album on the laptop screen, like yeah. um, remotely, and that was really hard. You know, we got some things done, and some of it is good. You know, like something I recorded in my car on top mm. of the mountain in in a, you know in Hawaii, and all this kind of strange uh, ways of uh, recording. Some of it was really good, and maybe that even emphasized the, the melancholic, sad feeling. And it worked out well, some parts, but uh, most of it was really difficult. And, and we were not able to see each other for over, the year, for yeah. over a year, physically. And um, after 28 years together, it really felt bad. You know, we, we uh, ended up almost breaking up with the band, like All a year right. and a half ago. So you were on the edge of it, and right. your and vision maybe was a good opportunity too. It was, but before that, uh, the guitarist Pauli he left the band a year and a half ago, and uh, we were left in a bad place for a moment. But then we found Empu, and she became the new guitarist, and and she has been wonderful and very um, energetic and charismatic uh, guitarist and very talented. So we are happy that we're back on track. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then you're starting your grand European tour with a concert in Helsinki, right? Is it well, this week? Yeah, we're going to play uh, a big show in Helsinki and a Yahali show. Uh, we're just now rehearsing for the show, putting um, together some special numbers with um, a special uh, musicians on stage. Yeah. And we have a couple of people coming featuring on the show and it's going to be um, a special evening with everything that's happening and we're very happy and excited about that. Yes, we are as well. So first your album is going to be released, so you're going to perform and promote your new album on the tour, is that correct? Yeah, the album is coming now this week, Friday, yeah. and, um, and uh, then we have all kinds of things and we even do this like a little signing thing at Levo Kappa Axe in okay. Finland, like good old record store uh, signing session. And it's great opportunity to meet some fans and yeah. just like, like uh, it feels like all these moments when you are actually in the same place with people after COVID, they feel so precious. 
you know, you really enjoy those. And I think the live gigs and all touring uh, at the end of the year will be fantastic because we all miss that interaction uh, with people and with our fans. Totally. You're going to meet so many fans all across Europe. And then after the tour, are you planning to go back to Hawaii or stay here? Well, actually, I'm, I'm moving out of Hawaii okay. right now. And I've packed my stuff and I, I have it shipped to the East Coast. So I'm gonna most probably go to live in Miami. So the adventure goes on. Um, Hawaii was um, three years. Yeah. And it was really amazing. I really enjoyed there um, many things, but I, I feel like I was kind of missing my, my tribe and my kind of people. You know, there's not a, much of a rock scene there. You know, everybody's oh, right. listening yeah. to reggae and going surfing and it's all sunshine and, you know. Yes, it's different mood here. Yeah. I think with this rainy gray weather, maybe it's more inspiring to write the rock music. <laughs> it is maybe, but I think it's about the people, not so much about the weather. Just like if you, if you find your soulmates, you know, it's, it's fun to make music. And also I feel I have to be closer to Europe because yeah. I come here all the time for work. And from Hawaii to Finland, for example, it's like 12 hour difference, oh, time, is, time yeah. difference. So it's really exhausting to fly back and forth because yeah. you're like constantly in the jet lag and, and uh, even having a phone call with someone in Finland, you know, it's morning here when it's yeah. night, night in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the rhythm and the, the tempo of the mood is different. So it's yeah. kind of hard, yeah. But then also, it's cool that you have home on two continents. So also, you can get creative things from here and from there and then combine it. Exactly. And also, when you, when you travel a lot and maybe live in different countries, you start to appreciate some things that you don't really see maybe at first yeah like, um, you know it's small things but but you learn learn when you travel i think it's the best thing so i recommend that to everybody just seeing the world and different yeah. cultures and be open-minded you know people are different and that is the beauty of it you know we're all different and we yeah. should tolerate each other and learn from each other you know, yeah. always when we find people in our life, there's something we don't like about them. But maybe that's interesting if you think about it like, hmm, that guy is just like that. And his weird habits are like this. That yeah. is cool. Yeah, and we learn from each other exactly. and we appreciate that we're different and we are we. And was there something that you learned from Eurovision actually in this atmosphere with international people, different cultures? I think the Eurovision fans, especially, they have a very open mind to a lot of things. Yeah. And it's such such a good thing to have. Like, it's very unique that, you know, you kind of play on a festival, you know, because yeah. it's like all these different acts and they're all different. But the fans, they just love the the thing as a whole. You know, they're like, like enjoying all the different kinds of songs. And uh, I don't think it happens anywhere else than in Eurovision. It's quite yeah. special. Yeah, this Eurovision bubble, the atmosphere, it's, I cannot describe it to anything else myself. But yeah, the fans, they want to know about your album. Can you spill some tea about it? Well, yeah, the album was um, done in three years and all these difficulties we uh, went through are somehow to be heard on the album. I think it's nice that the album tells a story, you know. You know, there were really dark times and then it ended up really brightly yeah. in, a, in a very good uh, kind of a note. You know, Empu joined us, we wrote three more songs, Jezebel, Rise, and Live and Never Die, which all are very like uplifting and hopeful songs. And uh, I think that um, it's nice that the album has different vibes, you know. The very dark moments, like a song like "Be Somebody" or "Clouds" or something like that. So it's like a full of contrast, and I enjoy that. And that's always been the 
the recipe for Rasmus music, like we've had this combination of um, joy and positive things and the melancholy kind of yeah. like this positive sadness and um, I think that's also kind of a Finnish thing you know Finnish people have this melancholy you know they enjoy even their like Christmas songs are like very dark yeah. and moody about you know death and all these kind of things and and still they have this you know jolly melody and yeah. you know that kind of it's a little bit creepy in a way, <laughs> but it's very Finnish. I think, I think it's, it's cool. I think it's resilience. It's called how mm -hmm. it in Finnish, like the strength going through the, the dark things mm -hmm. and getting out of it even stronger. Yeah, Sisu. Sisu, exactly, mm -hmm. yes. Um, yeah, so this is why the album is called Rise to Going Up from the Dark Times. Yeah, actually, we changed the album title. First, it was named um, Night Division which was kind of describing the thing that we are separated from each other on different yeah. continents, trying to work the album, try to write songs. But then when everything changed and Pauli left the band and Pu joined us, all these good things happened. We wanted to rename the album to have this positive name, Rise. And it's, it is like pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And it's coming out this Friday. Right, twenty third of September. Yes, don't forget, guys. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit also about your book? What was in it? What's the history? Yeah, the book. Uh, that was uh, another great project we did during the COVID. Cause I, I felt like we need to do something. I was totally losing my mind. I was really having some mental issues yeah. and and physically too, feeling bad because everything stopped. I'm so used to doing things and and touring and you know being with with the band and like creating something so the book was one thing we did and that was good because we were able to go through the history uh, together sometimes but sometimes alone just on a phone with the with the writer and it was like having a therapy session you yeah. know like tell me about your childhood and then I'm like you know it was very good again like to go through things to realize and understand what you have and how how precious this thing is yeah. what we're having here 28 years in this band it's like a lifetime and we're still going stronger than ever so it's it's really a beautiful thing and and it was kind of an eye opener to to write the book go through the history and uh, the writer had a, had a nice method he had a list of all the gigs we had played. All right. Ever. Wow. Like, that was a long was list. A huge... And then we started from the first one. Okay, this gig in '95. Yeah. You played in this like, <laughs> so, oh my god. And then all the memories started to come back. Yeah. You know, and um, it was so much fun and so much laughter and tears when we were doing these interviews together. And uh, we actually um, did some of the interviews in sauna. Okay. So we were sitting on sauna very and finished. yeah, very finished. And uh, put the the recording on the recorder on the low low seat and just like you know, it was fun. Okay. So I'm really proud of, of the book. It tells a great story, not only about you know things that we've su succeeded with, but I think about friendship and about devotion and yeah. passion for music and um, I hope that people who read it they get, in, get inspired and, and um, it can give them, keep, give them hope and you know strength to, to do their own things. I think it's a nice example of how to be different and still be successful. Exactly, that's what we were talking about before. So also this book was a great opportunity for you, for the group to go through the history together to become even closer and then connect it with the Rise album. Yeah, it kind of all made sense and um, and um, it took two years to make the book, you know. Okay. It was a long yeah. time and I've obviously never made, made a book before, so I didn't know. I thought it would be like a month, two months. Yeah, yeah. And the, the writer said, no, it's more like two years. And that's and what that's it was. And that's what it was. 
yes, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, do you have a message for Vlog readers? Sure. I really hope to meet many of you on tour. We are starting the European tour um, the 10th of October, and it goes on for about five weeks. And uh, really looking forward to those times and hopefully meet a lot of people in person and have a good chat. So take care and see you in the autumn. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.